Hello and welcome. When it comes to building automation, reliably detecting presence is really important. Knowing if someone is in the building affects the lighting, the heating, the security, the ventilation, and so much more. Detecting presence with locks on is something done with the on-ceiling presence sensor, something you're already familiar with. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the topic of presence detection and introduce you to one of the new products we know you've been waiting for, the flush-mounted presence sensor. The Loxon product range includes different options when it comes to presence detection. There's the surface mounted version available in the wired tree and wireless air version. Then there's the new flush mounted or in ceiling version based on Loxon tree with both options available in either white or anthracite. All versions of the Loxon presence detectors ensure reliable presence detection thanks to the combination of an infrared sensor, an acoustic sensor and a brightness sensor. With a beam angle of 110 degrees and a viewing angle of 360 degrees, the detection range is 8 meters at a ceiling height of 3 meters. The flush mounted or in ceiling version is particularly impressive due to its slim profile and seamless design. With the help of two spring clamps, the presence detector is at home in a 68 millimeter diameter cutout. The surface mounted variant features a fiber reinforced mounting plate for installation efficiency. The LED light on the device indicates its status. If it flashes orange, the device has not yet been paired in config, but it's otherwise good to go. If it flashes red, we recommend to check the wiring. Once the device has been physically installed, we can turn to Loxon config or the app to continue the commissioning by pairing the device. Begin a search for tree devices and the presence sensor will show up here on the list. Simply click on the presence sensor in config and the LED on the device will now flash like so to identify it. Next, just specify the room and fill in the information. After the presence sensor has been successfully paired, you can now make adjustments to the different parameters or thresholds. To do this, select the presence sensor in the periphery tree, and here you can adjust values such as the sensitivity, the overrun time, and the volume transmission cycles. The higher the timeout and transmission cycles are set, the fewer packets need to be processed. To edit the volume thresholds, click on Edit. A dialog box opens showing the current maximum and minimum volume of a transmission cycle. And from this graph, the maximum point should help you decide what the volume thresholds should be. Now you can define the minimum values for presence and the alarm. When setting these values, make sure that the basic noise levels, for example of dishwashers, refrigerators and other technical equipment are all taken into account. Here's a practical example. A person enters the room and motion is detected by the presence sensor, which activates the lighting. If the person now moves outside the detection range after activation and causes a noise that is above the adjustable threshold, then the timeout is extended. Should the timeout be reached as neither motion or audio has been detected, then presence can be reactivated within 10 seconds of this by means of a sound that is above the set threshold. The functionality doesn't stop there. The presence sensor can also trigger an alarm signal if it detects a noise level is exceeded. The threshold value can be set in Loxon config. There you have it. For more technical information, head to the Loxon website or our web shop. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the latest Loxon news. For now though, that's all. Thanks for watching.